grab one. Okay. I'm charging to 200. Let's get the shock in first. As soon as it's ready to shock, let's stop CPR. Okay. Clear All right. Patients. We're clear. Everyone clear? All clear. Shocking now? Okay, let's continue CPR. All right, continue CPR. Nice deep compressions, 100 beats a minute. Let's get prepared to manage the airway, please, definitively. Welcome to the opening of the New York Simulation Center for the Health Sciences, an unprecedented joint venture of the City University of New York and the NYU Langone Medical Center. Does that deserve a big round of applause? Okay, ready to shock. Clear the patient. Everyone clear? All right. Shocking now. Okay, continue CPR, please. We just went through a terrible hurricane. Uh, great, great management shown by our mayor and his team. Uh, but devastation uh, outside of the city. People's lives were taken, lives were ruined. Actually, facilities were just washed away. And we had to be prepared to act decisively to deal with the human element. And I think a facility like this will prepare our people to be nimble and effective, forward thinking and aggressive as they confront challenges that inevitably are going to occur. EMS, what do we have? We have a 32-year-old male patient unresponsive, sir, uh, sir. head trauma secondary to debris. Signs of BP 180 of 100, heart rate 84, respiration is 24. This is a unique educational facility, which is not only state of the art in terms of the technology, and you'll get a chance to see that firsthand as you go around, but is also one of the first to bring together, importantly, nurses, doctors, medical students, and first responders in a single collaborative and multidisciplinary setting. We believe the center will provide an entirely new paradigm for training and education, educating healthcare professionals. In the past, as some of you know firsthand, healthcare providers were apprentices and learned by seeing one, doing one, teaching one. But thanks to the tremendous advances in technology over the past decade, we are no longer limited to this outdated education model. Okay, I'm pushing 200 of propofol in. Hypoid pressure. I'm going to do pressure here. Okay. Succinylcholine is going in. The heart has been down for 11 minutes now. Okay, we're working as fast as we okay. can. We'll let you know as soon as it comes in. By bringing together CUNY and NYU Langone, this center represents one of the most successful private-public partnerships in this city. We are proud to be part of this project, and I'm sure it will have a tremendous impact on the education of healthcare providers today and in the future. The patient's intubated. Okay, Make incision. Okay, skin incision. Retractor, please. Uterine, pediatrics, please be ready. Fondel pressure, table down. I'm proud of this uh, simulation center, which is the largest and the best urban facility of its kind in the nation. And I am delighted that it will provide training to a broad spectrum of healthcare professionals, including the students that are here uh, with us today. As a resident of Lower Manhattan who was home on September 11, 2001, I am especially pleased that Downtown Hospital will have the ability to utilize this facility to train its emergency response team as well. That local organizations such as Hatsala and other volunteer ambulance corps uh, will be able to train here and that nursing students at Borough of Manhattan Community College will also be taking advantage of the training that is provided here. This remarkable simulation center is an outstanding example of two of the greatest qualities of our city. <coughs> that even when we are facing our darkest days, New Yorkers never give up and will come back stronger than ever. And when government and the private institutions of our city come together in real partnership, they can make incredible things happen. And this project is a true 
public-private partnership. CUNY and NYU Langone have collaborated to create a state-of-the-art facility that will both strengthen our city's emergency response capacities and enhance the world-class medical education available in New York. Clear. Three. Okay. Baby see is pinking up. That was the right. baby. She's fine. Her heart rate's 137. Okay. That's real 299. Okay. Baby is crying. Okay. It's a girl. On behalf of Secretary Napolitano, I'm delighted to congratulate the City University of New York and NYU Lengo Medical Center on the opening of the New York Simulation Center for the Health Sciences. The immediate goal of this center is to train emergency management and medical personnel to respond to small-scale emergencies, mass casualties, and other catastrophic events. But on a more basic level, the center's purpose is really nothing less than to protect the health and safety of the American people. And this perspective is altogether consistent with the Department of Homeland Security's own mission, and so we very much view the center as a partner in our broader efforts to keep the nation safe. The center will serve students in CUNY's nursing degree programs and continuing education programs, as well as NYU's medical students. It will also be available to serve those public and private agencies that provide emergency management services and emergency first response workers, such as New York City's Fire Department and the New York City Office of Emergency Management. The center will also be available for training emergency management workers from the Lower Manhattan community groups, businesses and volunteer ambulance services. In addition, New York Downtown Hospital will use the facilities for decontamination and other emergency training exercises. As you can see, this new center occupies the entire third floor of Bellevue Hospital's C&D building and will be able to serve as a national leader in the simulation training that has become a fundamental component in the training of physicians, nurses, and emergency response yes. workers. And how, how does this compare in terms of your role and what you're able to do today? I think that this is really beneficial as far as teamwork goes. Um, in order to do it in a setting um, outside of the hospital, you makes you feel a lot more comfortable and you can gain um, confidence for the real practical setting. So how, how many years? I'm in my third year of medical school. I just started my rotation. Okay. And you've never had a chance to do CPR in a patient? Not on a patient, no. Just in, um, just in classes and simulations like this. So now you would have been more prepared? Yeah, definitely. It is our belief that the training received at this center will increase the likelihood that any one of us, whether stricken by a heart attack or injured by debris from a bomb, will survive. Having visited many major medical centers in the United States, I can say without hesitation that none, none can compare to this center in terms of the design and the functionality, in the sophistication of the technology that you'll soon see, in the scope of the programs that are going to be provided, in the expertise of our staff. This is truly an amazing center. Okay. There is pain, breathing, circulation intact. Let's get an IV oxygen uh, and a and monitor. Dr. Wong, you've identified pain. What do you want to do? Let's get eight uh, milligrams of morphine. Okay. Any allergies, sir? No. Nope. So our ABCs have been assessed and are intact. Please do our HEENT exam. Okay. Dr. Hamilton, please do a fast exam of this patient. I'm going to have to do the morphine first. Looking around at this incredible facility, I am excited by the nursing, allied health, and emergency medical technician students from BMCC are here. Can I hear a shout from them? There we go. And the amazing BMCC faculty that are here. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Nearly 15 years ago, BMCC began supplementing its allied health programs with simulation. And we saw it then in a much smaller scale. And obviously, we witnessed and are now have the opportunity to be a part of it in a much larger scale, as you see today. But we have found that uh, the impact that it has on, on the learning process <coughs> and the ability for our students uh, to practice and practice and practice to ensure that when they have that real situation, that real medical emergency, that they will be prepared. One, two, three, cut! Yes! The New York Simulation Center is now open for business.